Tinubu's disqualification, a speech will be open, striking part of 1999 constitution that will definitely remove Tinubu. Hello, people, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, like I've often told you people that this uh, case of between uh, Balatinibu and P2B at the election petition tribunal can just be ended or concluded in just one week if they are really serious about it because everything is within the constitution, the 1999 constitution of this particular country. There is nothing that you look for that is not in that particular constitution. The only thing Tinibu and APC are, are trying to do is to maneuver the constitution to suit and misinterpret this constitution to suit the rascality and the illegality they committed. Well, in this particular video, I'm going to show you uh, the, the particular part of the constitution that to be opened, and there is no two ways about uh, about it. The uh, APC cannot change the constitution; they cannot go and rewrite it, or they cannot even amend the constitution now because it is too late for them. You know. And you know, this particular part of the constitution is so clear that it dealt decisively with a whole lot of things, especially the 25% in FCT. It decisively dealt with it and, you know, sorted out the problem. Well, I will I show you the constitution. And before I do that, well, if this is your first time of actually visiting this channel, don't hesitate to click on the notification button in order to be getting notified whenever I drop a new and important video like this. Now, let's head straight to the constitution and what the constitution, uh, the constitution says. You know, the 25% in FCT has actually drawn a lot of uh, attention and a, a lot of controversies. We are APC and Balatinibu is arguing that nobody needs a, uh, no, nobody needs. Uh, the federal capital territory. Nobody needs to get 25% in the federal capital territory to be declared as the president. You know, as we all know, Tinibu did not even get up to 20% at the federal capital territory, being the FCT. And APC have, have been trying to misinterpret the, 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 the constitution to suit that particular illegality and rascality. They've been trying to interpret it even when in the year 2000 and, uh, 2008, a case between Yaradua and President uh, and, and the former president, Obasa uh, uh, Buhari, you know, when Buari brought this particular case to the courts, they referred him to a, a, a judgment that the Supreme Court gave in 2003. And the case was between Buari and Obasanjo. Obasanjo did not get up to, uh, did not win FCT, but he got up to 25% in FCT. So Buari was arguing that since Obasanjo did not win 25% in FCT, that uh, Obasanjo shouldn't be declared as the president. You know, they went to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court said that the only thing that is required in the FCT to declare a president, a president is that the president must get 25% in FCT, but it's not mandatory for the president to win F FCT. But this is uh, uh, the judgment that, uh, that uh, the Supreme Court gave. And if you bring it closer to this particular uh, case, and probably this particular case between P2B and Olamide uh, Tinibu, Tinibu did not even get up to 25%. We are not talking about him winning the election. We're talking about him getting 25%. Uh, so this has actually caused a lot of problems and a lot of controversies within the country. Now, let us go ahead straight to the Constitution, the 1999 Constitution, for you to see what the Constitution says. You know, it is important that whenever you're making videos like this, we refer you to the Constitution for, for clarity and for evidence. The Section 2 and Part 2 of the uh, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria says that Nigeria is a federation of just 36 states, as you can see on the screen, and a federal capital territory. Here, this is my comment, here, he did not say that Abuja is also a state. Remember, the Section 2, Part 2 of the, of the Constitution says that Nigeria is a federation of 36 states and a federal capital territory. Here, he did not say that Abuja is a state. Because what Tinibu and APC are trying to say, the argument is that uh, that the, that FCT should be counted or regarded as, uh, regarded as a state, so that you know they will actually uh, you know uh, maneuver their way from uh, uh, the, the 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 mistake they made for not having 25 percent in FCT. So they want to include FCT as a state, which is not possible because the constitution already stipulated and stated out that we have only 36 states and the federal capital territory. The, the constitution did not say 37 states. Well, this is the first uh, evidence. Now, section three of that same constitution, and part one of it said, now went for that to say, it went for that on, on the name to, uh, on, it, like this, the, the next section went for that to name the states, and it did not name FCT or, or Abuja here as part of a state. To tell you that there is a clear distinction between F FCT and states uh, within the country. And the third, and, and in part three, two of that particular constitution of the first shadow of the constitution, section three, four, FCT Abuja was mentioned as a separate entity. Now let's go uh, straight to another point and another uh, proof that FCT is not a state. Now look at what the section, uh, uh, section one, three, four of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria said. Now he said that for a candidate for an election to the office of the president shall be deemed to have been duly elected. We are 
they have been they have been only two candidates for the election he has the majority of the votes that is these are the requirement for somebody to declare as a president that the person you know has uh, the majority of the votes cast at the election and secondly he has not less than one quarter of votes cast at the election in each of at least two thirds of all the states that's 25 percent of all the states in the federation and the federal capital territory abuja now the constitution went further to say from the part two that a candidate for an election to the office of the president shall also be deemed to have been duly elected we had there we had there being more than two candidates for the election he has the highest number of votes cast at the election and he has not less than one quarter of the votes cast cast at the election each out each of at least two thirds of the states in the federal capital territory and the capital in the in, in the federation and in the federal capital territory being abuja now look at the part that was marked uh, blue the top part that was marked blue he said something that the candidate who scored okay they said in a default in a default of a con a, for a candidate duly elected in accordance with section two of this uh, section there shall be a second uh election in accordance with section four of this uh, section sub subsection four of this se section at which the only candidate shall be that is if the if the candidate that actually got the highest number of votes are probably did all uh, the candidate uh, with the highest number of votes did not meet up to this particular uh, uh, requirement of having a spread of 25% uh, in the FC. In the... So in any case, if there is a runoff, runoff means the president, the person that was declared as the president probably did not meet up to the constitutional requirements. Now there will be a runoff and the runoff is always between uh, two candidates. It's always between two candidates. Now look at what the constitution, the constitution says that the first person that will participate in the runoff is the person, the, pres the person that the candidate that actually got the highest number of votes. Now the second person that will participate in the runoff election is, now look at what the highlighted part that was highlighted blue said. B said, one among the remaining candidates who has a majority of votes in the highest number of states. One among the remaining candidates who has a majority of votes in the highest number of states. So, however, that we are there are more than one candidate with majority of votes. Where there are more, more than one candidate with majority of votes in the highest number of states. The candidate among them with the highest total num total of votes cast at the election shall be the second candidate for the election. Now, the point I'm making is look at the part that was highlighted uh, red, underlined red here on, on this B part. They said one among the remaining candidates who has a majority of the votes in the highest number of states. In this particular part of the constitution, is you know, the, the constitution is clear. Whenever it wants to distinct between or differentiate between states and FCT, it will do that. Now, look at this particular part. It did not say... Uh, highest number of states and the uh, um, and, uh, and the FCT. No, this particular part of the constitution was only referring to states, and the FCT is not part of it. Now the same thing happens in the earlier uh, uh, part of the constitution we interpreted earlier that the person must have twenty five percent in 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 uh, in uh, about how many uh, in at least two third of all the states and the federal capital territory. Now the constitution, whenever it wants to mention the federal capital territory, it is very specific. Whenever it mentions states. It's very specific. So FPC and Tinibu should know that they are that they're trying to interpret uh, FCT as a state does not hold water. FCT has never been, as a matter of fact, regarded as a state. FCT has no governor or uh, no operate as it, it doesn't operate as, as a state. So you could see it only has have an FCT minister there. So you could see that there is no way APC and Tinibu is going to you know uh, try to misinterpret the constitution, stating that uh, the FCT is a state. That means the constitution, you know, could have actually been, you know, uh, they could have actually scrapped off uh, the, the name FCT, probably not make it 37 states. But the constitution has stated earlier that we have only 36 states and the federal capital territory. And in the constitution, whenever the constitution wants to refer things that pertains to states, it will mention states. And whenever it wants to mention things that pertains to both states and the FCT, it will not say 37 states. No, it will say the uh, 36 states and the FCT. So having 25% is compulsory because the constitution in itself has always maintained that it is compulsory. So Tinibu's disqualification is imminent. At the end of the day, he will actually be disqualified. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comment in the comment section and tell me what do you think about this uh, interpretation.